Okay, so today guys, we are going to be working on crafting our bell thorns and we're also going to be making some endo flame. So I actually learned what we were doing wrong last time and it was that I wasn't throwing the petals into the right mana pool. I was throwing them into a basic mana pool instead, or a, a diluted mana pool instead of a just regular mana pool. So I fixed that and we've generated a bit of mana. And we're going to craft some bell thorns. Let's go ahead and look at the recipe. We need two red mana petals, two cyan normal petals, and one normal red petal. So let's go ahead and get four, one, and then that should be all the mana petals we need. So there we have the two and the one, and then we have more two. And then I believe we need some redstone root as well. And I've done a bit of experimenting, so that's why there's some extra stuff in here, because I just wanted to make sure it worked. And let's go ahead and get some seeds. Right, there we go. And survival gear, we'll grab a bucket. And let's get some agua. Let's put the agua in the petal apothecary thing. And we need to go make our magical mana petals. So we'll eat some carrots as we walk outside to our mana pool. And I've also altered our mana generating setup a little bit to help with our new... Uh, what are they called? Belthor and things, so I don't have to spend time on camera doing that. So as you can see now, we have the option to put red mana petals in and make them, or red petals and make them mana petals, so we will be doing that by just clicking Q, and it makes them into red mana petals. Okay, so yeah, it was just that we weren't using the right mana pool. We weren't doing anything wrong, it was just that, uh, well I guess I was doing stuff wrong, but still. Okay, so let's throw in the two red mana petals. Let's throw in the two cyan ones, let's throw in the redstone root, let's throw in the red mana petal, and let's make some seeds. And we have a bell thorn. So let's go outside, let's come over to this mana pool. It has a bit of mana in it. I was moving my day blooms around, that's why that we're missing some, but it's okay. And let's go find a mob. I don't know, like maybe a creeper or a zombie or something would be nice. It's funny how when I- here, there's a zombie. But whenever I'm looking for mobs, I can never find them. Like, it took us a little while. But then whenever I don't want mobs to be around, they're always right there. So it works out perfectly every single time. Okay, and actually, uh, fun stuff. So let's talk about my living life for a while. Yeah, my living life. I've been watching Marvel's Agent Carter, and it's actually a really good show. Like, But there are other uh, comic shows available, like, I won't name any, but there are other ones available for copyright reasons. So yeah, okay. Look at the bell thorn. Oh, and it starts killing the zombie. That's awesome. But I've been watching uh, Agent Carter, and it's really, really good. I really like it a lot. And um, I love my favorite part, honestly, because I'm on the second episode. Yeah, it's like I'm pretty behind still. But it's really, really good, and I'm liking it a lot. So uh, I will go ahead and... I'm going to make some more bell thorns, but I'm just going to skip through that so we don't have to watch that because I think that'll be boring. So, yeah. Well, guys, I've made five more bell thorns. I think I may have made one too many, but I mean, we're always going to be able to find a use for these things, so it's not that big of a deal. So let's go ahead and put down our bell thorns. And there we go. And I, I made two more spots over here. For, yeah, so I made one too many bell thorns, but that's fine. And uh, as you can see, I moved some day blooms over here and connected them up to a mana pool just so we're not going to have to run mana spreaders all across our compound, but it's fine. We'll go ahead and put a third bell thorn down there for now. Okay, and let's go ahead and... Actually, I said I wanted to make endo flames, so let's make some of those now. Because endo flames are like a better way to power your... I didn't mean to share that, but they're a better way of generating mana because they just make more mana than our day blooms do. So endo flames, next page, next page. So we need brown and red. So let's go ahead and we'll make another brown. We'll make an endo flame. Actually, let's make two. So let's get two browns, two reds. Let's come in here. So we need the brown ones, the red ones, and then we need the light gray ones, which are in... Where's the light gray flowers? We have orange green white cyan yellow purple light gray there we go so let's go ahead and turn these into the f flower counterparts we need to turn two brown ones and two red uh math we need to turn the two red ones into the manipuls okay but back to agent carter my favorite part so far is how they made jarvis an actual character on the show because like in iron man he's um 
Tony's butler. But in the show, they actually made him like a real character. So it's kind of like we're going to see how Jarvis plays into being an actual human being and not just like an artificial intelligence system. But it's really, really cool. And then um, I also am a fan of the Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. because uh, Agent Coulson, I mean, you, you kind of have to like like all Marvel characters if you're going to like some of them. But that's really good too. So yeah, I've had plenty of Marvel TV to watch lately. And also, see, because it's just TV's fun right now because everyone is like getting back into their shows because most of the winter break are up. Like The Walking Dead is coming back this um, Sunday, which I am thrilled about i love the walking dead i probably watched like each episode like 10 maybe not 10 times but like four or five times each so i love some oh i yeah i made some endo flames too while i was making the other things but it's fine okay and let's get these endo flames and okay so let's go ahead and we'll put the endo flames on this petal thing oh yeah i removed the daisies because i didn't think we were really using them so i just removed them and yeah okay so i will go ahead and get some coal from downstairs and we will test out our new endo flames okay let's come in here let's get some coal and yeah yeah walking dead one of my favorite tv shows and it just gets better every time you watch it because you notice new things like i'm one of those people that loves watching tv shows over and over and over again because, I mean, you just, you see new things each time. Oh, look, just ate the coal. Cool. And so now it's generating mana and pooping it into this mana pool. That's an interesting way of talking about how mana is transferred, but it works. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make some more endo flames because I would like to get maybe two or three more. And yeah, okay. So, yeah. Okay, so I've crafted three more endo flames. I made one too many again, but I mean, it's fun crafting the flowers. So yeah, so we have the three additional endo flames. Let's go ahead and throw some coal down so they can eat the coal. Nom, 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 nom. And we're making more mana. So now these bell thorns are powered. And then we have that mana down there. Those bell thorns should be powered because of the sun. But what we may do is, you know what? Let's get rid of this middle one right here and we'll put down an endo flame instead and we'll throw down a piece of coal and it should eat it there we go and now we should be generating mana from this setup yep there we go okay so we have the day blooms working we have you know let's go ahead and put this day bloom back too just so we can get um, a little bit more power from this part of the system and put it right here and yeah okay and so I don't know, I have a list of flowers I want to create, and I think, oh, also I went in one of the ruins because I was um, over the weekend because I was really bored, and I think I went in that ruin, and I found a runic altar for Batania, so that's what this thing is, and I love the little cubes flying around on top, like they look really, really, really cool. Okay, let's go ahead and eat some more carrots because we're hungry again, and we need melon seeds because I was reading the lexicon, and the next flower I want to create... I believe is the functional flora. I want to build the one that can power our furnaces. And uh, it's the exoflame, which utilizes mana, which means with means to generate heat. So we can use this flower to make our furnaces power stuff. Yeah, okay. And to do that, we need a root of the summer, which means we which means we need melon. And in order to get melon seeds with Batania, as you can see, it's in NEI, we need a alchemy catalyst which needs brewing stands which need blaze rods so we will be going to the nether okay so let's go ahead and um while i was recording the let's build a meteorite fell and it somehow made a nether portal i don't really know how all i know is that it made a nether portal and it looks really like cool like i harvested some obsidian from it off camera but it looks like really 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 cool because it has just a bunch of um meteorites and obsidian below it so we will just i'm not gonna waste obsidian making a new nether portal when we can just use this one that already exists because it's like save the world care about the planet yay so we'll just be doing this i almost fell off and fell into lava that would have been bad okay let's go ahead go through the nether portal and here we are okay Ooh, there's some soul sand here let's go ahead and get at some soul sand okay and i don't know i think maybe like 16 soul sands should be enough because we're gonna need to find another fortress or also um if metallurgy 3 is 
a part of this mod pack, which it is, we can find Vulcanite and use Vulcanite ingots to make blaze rods, which the recipe is right there. So if we find Vulcanite, we won't even have to go to another fortress. We'll just be able to make blaze rods using Vulcanite. So we may be looking for some Vulcanite ore instead. Oh, that's a crude nitro creeper over there. Okay, um, I wonder why there's glowstone everywhere. Maybe something exploded. I don't know. Okay. And let's... What are these things? It looks like weeds. What is this? Proxies. There's some Cetris quartz everywhere. I'm not sure what these are. Don't want to fall down there. Eye bulbs. We don't get any... Do we get stuff when we hit them? Can we use them for anything? No. Okay, so we won't bother with that. Now what's this? More Varoxes? Okay. Uh, what is this thing? Uh, okay, get away from me. Get away from me. Blazing Juggernaut. Is this gonna drop blaze rods for us? Come on. We can make... Come on, die spider. I'm trying to kill a blazing juggernaut. Where are you? There we go. There's so much stuff. Did we hit it? Do we get blaze rods? Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Go away, Nitro Creeper. We didn't kill the piggy, don't worry. As long as we don't kill it. Is this a big spider? See, I hate the nether and mods like these, because this is a heat scar spider, and it's one of the big ones that gives babies when it dies. So this one is going to give birth to multiple babies. Oh yeah, it threw us in the air too, and one of them is special. So we will just work on killing these things as fast as possible. We want to kill this one first because it's a special one. We'll kill that guy, and now we will kill... This guy is also special apparently, and yeah, so we need to eat because we're about to die. Okay, wow, this has been very intense already. Let's get some light berries, those sound good. Can we eat them? A little bit evil, killer healing. That makes me worry, but I want to eat one. Yeah, killer healing. Oh, so I guess it poisons you at first, but then it helps you regenerate. So that's actually pretty cool. Okay, and Vulcanite spawns pretty deep down. I know this from playing Yogg's Cast Complete, if you guys are wondering, but it spawns pretty deep down. I don't know if that was Vulcanite. No, it's Medasium. 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 Something. And like I, uh, I was saying, I know all this from playing Yogg's Cast Complete a lot, because I got very into that mod pack. It was one of my favorites. So, what is this stuff? Syracuse? And yeah, so not that big of a challenge to find the ores and all that stuff. And I know like a couple tricks and tips that we can use to help make this playthrough more fun. Let's go ahead and jump down here. And we need to eat because I'm going to end up killing us. Let's go ahead. Ooh, and flesh blocks. Mmm. You guys want some flesh to eat? Oh, wow, another fortress. I wasn't expecting that. Another blightberry bush. Let's go ahead and grab this. And what is over here? Anything? I don't see anything that looks like it's on fire. More Varoxes and Nether Gold. And look, here is the Vulcanite Ore. And I guess in this texture pack, it doesn't really look like it's on fire. But it does look different than the Varoxes. So we will just go ahead and harvest up two. That was not a very profitable yield, but we got two Vulcanite. Where did it go? I don't know where it went. Did it really get destroyed or something? Is it in our inventory? We got a nether pearl somehow. An ender pearl. Where did the Varoxes go? Or the nether stuff? I do not know. That's really strange. Okay, uh... I guess we will be looking for some more then. Wow, I don't know what happened to that. I swear I mined it. And I don't think I... Was I using the wrong pickaxe? Maybe I used the wrong pickaxe level. Maybe that's the... Yeah, I bet you that's what I did wrong. So I guess we will need to come back with a better pickaxe, or we will need to just kill blazes. And me being me, I don't want to have to come back here, because I hate the nether with a fiery passion. What is this overgrown nether rack? Okay. But uh, we will just be trying to not have to come back here. And we will just look in the nether fortress instead of wandering around trying to get a better pickaxe. And honestly, I don't even know what's better than a diamond pickaxe until we get Tinker's Construct. So for now, I say let's just ignore the crazy pickaxe level system. Here, let's jump in here. And we will just, I guess, be heading into the nether fortress and maybe we'll find some loot in here too i mean i kind of wanted to avoid it but at the same time hopefully i won't die hopefully <laughs> so i mean yeah this could be interesting let's go ahead and i will 
do my best to not fall into lava. I actually do like nether brick though as like a building material, so it's not the worst that of things that could be happening, but I really would not have minded if we didn't have to. But look at here, there's a blaze spawner right there. Let's go ahead, get our diamond pick out, and let's attack these blazes. Two, three. Got one blaze rod. I actually think there's another blaze spawner right there, yeah. So let's go ahead and eat some carrots. Num, 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 num. Okay. Let's come down here to this blaze spawner. Maybe we'll get lucky. Got two this time. That's not good. So that guy is not doing anything, and this is a freaking insane blaze, and we are going to die. Unless I somehow miraculously manage to not die like that. Let's go ahead and build a little soul, sa soul sand barricade. Wow, that thing, like, destroyed us. Oh, that's stupid that the, um... What are they called? That the super mobs can spawn as you eat, or not as you eat, <laughs> I was thinking about cookies and eating, but as you use the mob spawners, that's insane. But we got our nether pearl, pearl, ender pearl, I don't know why I keep calling it a nether pearl, so I guess that's like a good side effect thing, but still. Okay, we need to kill some of these blazes before we die. Let's come back in our little hole, and where are the blazes? Gosh, I should have brought a bow. Okay, I killed one. Okay, killed another. How many blaze rods do we have? We still just have one. Which isn't the best, but at least we're still alive. Which is my goal at this point. Let's kill this guy. Killed another one. Didn't get a blaze rod. Uh, that one's shooting fire at us. This is interesting. This is very, very interesting. Come here. Come here, but little buddy. Let's go. Come on. You can do it. Come here. I don't like how they're just... Come on. Come here. Maybe this guy. Oh, they shot us with fire. Why did I not bring a bow and arrow? Oh well. Let's come over here, maybe. Maybe if we like, walk. Oh, there's another blaze up there though. I don't want to risk it. Okay, let's kill this blaze. Got another blaze rod. Actually, is there a blaze rod on the wall? I can't tell. I think there may have been. Yes, there is one down there. Oh, great. So we have three, not just two. Let's go ahead and mine down and get that one really quickly. Okay. Got that blaze rod. So now I only need one more blaze rod, and there's a blaze over here that we might be able to kill. If it's not a super blaze. Let's go ahead and actually, yeah, we can kill this guy. Die! There we go, killed another. Let's go ahead and eat some carrots. Why is there a brain slime in the nether? I thought they were only- Oh yeah, I did some research about brain slimes, and apparently they spawn on beaches, not in chunks, so we're just gonna have to live with them.